That would have freaked you out. Bro, that was awesome! <laughs> what the? I was like, that's not a shock! <laughs> Alright crew, so um, on this dive JP's invited me out on his inflatable. Basically we're looking for a kingy, I think this was uh, just the start of kingy season. So we're trying to orientate onto um, quite a promising rock and uh, looking for a bit of bait and stuff like that too. In this dive I'm taking the Andre uh, wooden gun out and um, I think that was the second dive that I'd had with it. So just continuing to give it a bit of a jam and a bit of a test. Not enough current. A little bit of bait, but it's, yeah, there's just no current. So, yep, yeah, on the second drop here, I um, find the rock that I was actually looking for. And as soon as I get down onto it, there's a school of kingfish moving in. Uh, quite a nice sized school. Uh, too bad it was so green that it was quite hard to see how many fish were in there. But um, I'm sort of creeping down here and then notice a fish with a big wound in its back. And um, yeah, I wanted to get that one, so uh, actually took a bit of a long shot, uh, probably a bit longer than I normally would, and um, I was thinking I probably didn't get good penetration. Yeah, yeah wasn't that a good shot? Pretty dirty. Yeah, that fish needs another shark. I just, it was only the only good one. I was like, I took a real long shot. I don't think I would have penetrated it. I don't think it would have gone the whole way through. So, yep, yeah, after telling JP that I thought the shot was bad, he's done the right thing there and he's gone down and secured it for us. Um, and then it actually turns out I had nothing to worry about when I pulled it up, the um, spear had gone all the way through. So, um, I was pretty impressed. That's pretty good for that little gun. Oh, it's got a good penny on it. Plus, I, got, I shot it sweet as. I was just waiting to get shocked, but no, nah, sweet ass. Yeah, I was surprised how calm you were doing just that. He's just got like that, eh? Yeah. Get down in there. Try to bite him top down. Bro. And he's blind. Good shot. And, it's, and he's all through here, too. That's yeah, yeah that's weird. That's, and then that's. It, it would have been a decent fish to attack him. A decent shark, I mean. Hell yeah. So yeah, after that we moved spots onto this um, second reef here and um, quite a few kingies all over this reef on most of the drops. Um, water's a little bit cleaner here but um, yeah, quite a few nice fish hanging around and uh, I find that once I've got one on the boat I normally don't pull the trigger on a second one unless it's a real beast or I really need the meat. But um, yeah, more of a scenic fish for me at this point. It's big one. Yeah. Beautiful bronzy. So yeah, JP is just fighting a kingfish here and um, I was about 20 meters away. I looked over and a bronzy was trying to take it off him right up on the surface. Um, I bolted over to help out but um, the shark left in a hurry so um, JP got to land it, no stress at all. So yeah, this drop here, um, basically what had happened was uh, JP landed his kingy. Um, ended up gutting it and I nicked a couple of broken down kohiru out of its uh, stomach 
Um, I just flake them and sort of let them drift down onto this um, uh, kelp flat here down current. Uh, no surprise that the bronzies moved in, but um, it was pretty surprising that a nice snapper had moved in on really short notice. So, yep, managed to get a crack at it. watching and I just don't know how many there are. <laughs> That's the problem, eh? Yeah, shortly after shooting that snapper it was really quite um, desolate, like the kingies all disappeared, um, all the sharks disappeared and um, I was sort of wondering what the heck was going on. But um, I could hear a bit of commotion on the surface and it turns out that an orca had come right up to JP while he was lying down on the reef. Um, unfortunately I didn't get any footage of it. But um, you can sort of hear his reaction here and, um, you know, it's no surprise considering how huge one of those things would look, uh, particularly in that green water. What did it do? Ooh, it came right up to me, this massive orca! That would have freaked you out. Bro, <laughs> that was awesome! What the? I was like, that's not a shark! <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I want to go down on that ledge in the green and I don't want to have a f***ing orca come past. That shit. All the sharks f***ed off. Yeah, it must have been. That's, that's the sharks. I hate those fucking things. No shark, they just swallow a shark. Eh? <laughs> yep. Oh, that was incredible. I really enjoyed that. That was sick. Snapper too. Using the kids' pool to clean up my dog gear. And uh, got a few fish, so this is my second dive with the um, Andre gun. And got a nice snapper, thingy. Yeah, I did have another big snapper that I almost sort of got a shot on. I kind of wanted to re dive it and then kind of screwed it. But, yeah, and then a bloody orca rolled in on my dive buddy, so didn't get any footage of it, but it was a pretty hard case, so. Time for some uh, some filleting. Have a look at this kingy. Blind in that eye. That's a screw. And he's got a um, shark bite. So that's all bitten. And um, over. You can see on the other side there. It's just been chomped. Yeah. Top down, something's just come down and gone. <laughs> Hopefully the flesh is all right. He's a bit munted, a bit munted down around his ass and that too. So uh, strong fish though, fought hard, fought way harder than oh, it would come up a lot smaller than I thought it was going. All right, crew. So unfortunately, the music that I had playing in the background there got cock blocked. So I have to tell you what I was doing. Um, basically, I just cut around all the shark bites and all those sort of dirty areas, and the meat looked fine. So I thought I'd get it smoked, um, and what I did was just a dry brine, so salt and sugar rub, and um, left it in the fridge like that, and then give it to my mate for smoking. Um, and then, yep, the snapper, as you can see, uh, beautiful flesh on that, real good eating size fish. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you like this video, guys. If you want more of these vlog sort of style videos on spearfishing, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, comment and all the rest of it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.